James Hamilton for MMA UK here with Terry Brazier. So we're, we're almost at fight night, Terry, a couple of days out. Um, obviously, you've been out in Thailand training as well. Just talk us through how this camp's been um, for you leading into this fight on Saturday. Yeah, it's been a good camp. I had a um, good six, seven months off with an injury, not doing a lot in the UK, just just, um, just resting and recovering, to be honest, after a, a busy year, winning the two world titles at Bama. Um, went straight out into a fight camp. I've uh, done like, a two-week pre-camp in England with Dean Amazinger and then went out to uh, Phuket Top Team with Eric Uresk and done uh, a six-week camp and then finished uh, my last two weeks in the UK. Uh, I'm back up to feeling good, 100%, and um, feeling strong. I've had plenty of time for some new stuff to sink in and, and um, uh, all stuff that I've learned in previous camps. Uh, just let, let, let it settle in and um, yeah, I'm excited to use it. At that time you said you had off there, obviously getting the rest and letting your body heal up and that. How much has that helped you just not not only get feel 100% going into this fight, but improve your all-round uh, game? Um, well, to be honest, we, you know, we've learned that time off is good for me. Do you know what I mean? When I have a bit of time off, uh, it gives you time to think and, and for skills and drills to settle in and, and, and process. And when I come back to training, it actually uh, proved to be a benefit than, than actually uh, a negative. So it was good. And also leading into this fight with Chris Bungard, there has been a, a bit of back and forth online. Is that something that's just fueled you leading into the fight on Saturday? Yeah, it, does, it doesn't affect me one bit. It doesn't fuel me. It doesn't hold me back. It doesn't put any pressure on me. Um, if people want to talk nonsense, let them talk nonsense. Do you know what I mean? Um, I've been under real pressure and real stress, and I, you know, I know how to deal with that. Um, someone effing and blinding on Twitter just don't bother me one bit, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just going to go out there, do me, and uh, that's going to be enough. And obviously, as we've said there, you're coming in as a double weight champion from Bama, welterweight and lightweight. You're debuting at lightweight. Is there any thoughts at all that you may go back up to welterweight, or is lightweight going to be your home in Bellator? Um, yeah, I would, I would take a welterweight fight um, if it was the right fight and for the right money and the right, you know, the right terms. And 100%. Um, but you know, I'm a lightweight fighter. Um, I intend to stay at lightweight for Bellator and clean up. Um, but there's a couple of fighters at welterweight um, from Dublin that are piping up at the moment uh, I see as easy fights so you know if they want to match me with them happy days let's go uh, London Bellator so keep your options open, open then yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, just lastly obviously looking slightly beyond this fight you have said in the past that your, your ultimate goal is to get to that title um, do you look to announce yourself in Bellator on Saturday and then continue to move towards that title yeah, 100%. I'm just, you know, I'm building some good foundations at the moment. Uh, I'm happy to make a home at Bellator, and yeah, I'm, I'm, we're aiming for the, we're aiming for the title. Um, there's no reason why I can't make it. I'm, I'm only developing and evolving every fight camp and every fight. I'm getting better, getting stronger, um, and it's becoming more of a reality. So, just going to keep doing what we're doing, and um, you know, see where it gets us. Thank you very much for the time, Terry.